All right, guys, it's the next day. Here's what happened yesterday. Two things happened. Number one, my neighbor got stuck with his tractor and he don't have four wheel drive, so I had to go over and pull him out of the ditch. Took care of that. Then I went to eat lunch and just what happened? These two temporary crowns on the front of my teeth here on the top came off. And uh, my new ones won't be in till next Wednesday. So that right there posed a problem right there. I had to go get some fits in it and uh, clean those up a bit. It was pretty painful, actually. Those teeth are still sensitive. I know you guys don't want to hear about that. So long story short, due to all that going on, I called it a day pretty much and kind of sit on the front porch and let this fits dent do its job, hopefully, and keep these little temporary crowns in place. They're holding up good today, but we'll see how it goes. So anyways, friends, today is a new day, and I got some exciting news last night. The new machine that we acquired for the sawmill is ready, so me and Dad will be taking the new trailer up to Kentucky tomorrow to pick that up and bring it back. You guys will see that in the next video. And after we get this done, as far as getting the trailer ready to take up there tomorrow, we're gonna go up to the sawmill and work on some of that cedar. I've got to saw up about 500 board feet of cedar for a customer of mine. But before we start on that cedar, I need to do a few things to this trailer to get it road ready for tomorrow. You guys hang in there. All right, so I put the ramps down today because the machine I am getting tomorrow will be loaded on these ramps. And I need to make some adjustments right there. You can see the feet on the ramps do not come all the way down to the ground. Let me get on the other side here. You guys can see what I'm talking about. Look over me talking, guys. This dental stuff is about to kill me. So right there, you can see that gap. And that needs to be touching the ground. It's about a five inch discrepancy right there. And the reason that needs to be touching the ground is so as the machine goes up this ramp, the trailer does not tilt backwards. That right there could make some dangerous situations happen. So we wanna make sure the feet are on the ground. And luckily, I didn't realize this when I bought the trailer, these feet are adjustable. Right there's the two bolts. And this part right here will slide out this way. It's got several different holes for your adjustments. So we'll grab some tools first and get this set up. All right, in the garage, I need my impact driver. There we go. I think my wrenches are outside already. It's pretty hot out here today. It's almost 90 degrees and we're still in April. I hope that's not a sign of another uh, hot and miserable summer here in Tennessee, but it probably is. Right there's what it was on. That right there might do it. I'll have to put these bolts in and not lock them down and then test it and see how it looks. Fold this down and see if that's the right place to put them. All right, so there's a little bit of play in this, you can see. I gotta put the other bolt in there to really line it up. But that's close enough to the ground. It will press down just a little when the machine goes over the ramps, but that will keep the trailer flat. If I leave these short, the way they come from the factory, as the machine comes up on the ramp, it could cause this side of the trailer to raise up in the air. And then that will raise up the rear end of the Duramats and could create a dangerous situation right there. So that's why you want to get those lower to the ground. I think that's good right there. I'll go ahead now and lop these down and we'll move on to the next task, which is putting our new chains in the toolbox.
All right, guys, got those bolted on and that should do the trick for tomorrow. Everything looks good back here. Now we're gonna move on to this toolbox on the front of the trailer. This is one of the reasons why I picked this trailer because I had this nice toolbox on the front. We'll be putting some chains in here and some binders. Also got a bottle jack as well and a few other things. But let me ask you guys something here. So right here is the lid. Of course, you guys can see that. What's that channel for right there? It's got the opening. It goes in about a half inch right there. It's got a lip on the bottom. And I'm not sure what purpose that serves. Let me know down in the comments below what that is because I can't figure it out. I think maybe you hang chains from it, but I'm not sure. So the first thing we got are four ratchet straps. Sorry about the loud noise there, metal on metal. I got four of these so they would match. I had some older ones, but I've not used them in a long time. And I had to buy new chains, so I thought might as well buy new binders. And everything I'm showing on here, guys, I bought on Amazon because I hate going out and dealing with people in public. So, as always, there's a link down below to everything you see here, in case you're interested, or maybe you're setting up your own trailer. I've got brand new uh, tie-down chains in here. Each ammo can has two 10-footers. Now, I like to put these in ammo cans. I've got the same configuration in my truck toolbox because... I hate to open up a toolbox and see a chain just laying out in, you know, in a mess. You know, they catch on to everything and it just looks, you know, it looks messy. It doesn't look like you take care of your stuff. So that's a cheap way to organize your tools. I get this at Harbor Freight. They're about, I don't know, 10, 15 bucks a piece for these things. Uh, Army surplus store, they're even cheaper. I wish this fly would leave me alone. I'm trying to make a video here, buddy. My goodness. So two ammo cans, two chains per box, so four 10-foot chains for tying down the machine tomorrow. And this other ammo can is actually plastic. I prefer the metal ones, and I'm not sure why I had one of these laying around, but I guess we'll use it. Next up, we have your classic four-way lug wrench. I do have a spare tire. You guys have already seen that in a previous video, so you gotta have one of these. We got the four-way lug wrench, but I'm also going to be taking my cordless impact driver. Now, here's the reason I have both of them. Number one is, what do you think, George? It never hurts to have two tools on hand if you can. And number two, it's battery powered. This could malfunction. Who knows what could happen? I charged it up today. Would you quit biting me for one second? But, you know, you never know. I'll have this in the toolbox in the truck in case we need it. It's a lot faster than that thing. So we'll be having both those with us if we get stranded and need to change a tire. Now on to what you're really wondering about, an update on George. He's doing really good. We took him to the vet last week. He's almost three pounds, but he's doing pretty good. She's trying to get him used to this collar and it's driving him crazy, but he'll get over it. He'll be okay. And if somebody was asked in the previous video uh, what breed he is, he's a long haired chihuahua and we think his parents both had this. We think his ears will stand up eventually. Right now, they're kind of laying down. Say hello, George. George, say hello. Well, you're about like mama cat. You're gonna be hateful of this camera, I guess. But anyways, hopefully the ears will stand up. So uh, that's your update for George this week. He's doing really good, aren't you, buddy? He stays outside with us most of the time. Loves being outside. So next on the list, we got a 12 ton bottle jack right there. And this will slide around a lot. I'll probably put this in my truck also. Might get banged up in there. So in addition to my truck toolbox, where I got jumper cables, WD-40, all kinds of extra tools. As of right now, that's everything going in the trailer toolbox. But I could see myself adding a lot more to this in the future. But right now, this will do the job for tomorrow and get us up to Kentucky, strap down the new machine, and get it home safely. 